If we can do well at any away games, then we can save woman pressure on Manchester City. Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, your Manchester United fan just like you. Nothing special in this video, we'll be talking about the 2023-2024 season. Guys, remember last year, if you didn't watch my video, I did 2022-23 season. Most of United fan channels, most of fans, most of the media said United wouldn't make it top four. I said they will be third and it happened that way. And this year, I want to tell you guys what I think about United, considering the transfers we have, the possible transfers we'll have because we haven't finished with our transfer business and also we put into consideration the competitions we'll be playing. Guys, please give me just 10 minutes of your time. Please make sure you click the like on the video as usual. Thanks for all of you subscribing. That's all I can say. My apologies. I'm at the roof of my flat and out there, there someone is doing some renovation here and the sound is, you know, buzzing in your ears. I hope it doesn't disturb the volume which you will be listening to this video. Let's go straight into it. You know what? Last season, in Manchester United, the strength of our season was our manager who knew what he won, the way he positioned the player, he brought in five players and that changed a lot. He changed a lot the way we play and we had a huge problem. Let me ask you guys, what was the biggest problem of last season Manchester United team? Is it because we lost the games? Is it because we didn't win finals? What was the biggest problem? If you don't know, the biggest problem we had Manchester United as a team last season was uh, we lacked depth in the sense that we lacked a stretch squad, you know. It was so tough to some extent that Bruno Fernandes was playing with, with injury. You cannot have a success season if you don't have a, a team a team is not your first 11 a team is your first 22 that's why it is important that we dish in Maguay keep uh, Lindelof we bring in some, someone to replace Maguay because you will have to rotate you will have to rotate if you want to be in top four which you need you need to have a strong team but if you want to win tournaments and also perform in international tournaments like Champions League and what or, or whatever league then you need to have a, a squad that is why you see most of the reasons why most of our players team B players or maybe reserve team they are giving out on loan they simply because by December your club already understands where he belongs in regards to the season so where will United finish this season I won't just jump into it but this is my suggestion prediction I think prediction so my prediction is very simple I think United will fight for the Premier League this season. I didn't say they will win the Premier League. For us to be considered as Premier League contenders, we will say that only in December. But I think United would, f would go into this season and fight to be that contender. I think top four is a 100%. Even if we lost our four five, first five games, top four is a 100% for Manchester United. And I'm going to explain you to you guys why. And I think United will not win the league. The reason why I think United is not going to win the league is simple. is because Ten Hag is a manager which is so driven we, he's just driven he is a manager he's a perfectionist he he hates to lose what I mean by he hates to lose is he is going to go to the Champions League with the mentality that we are winning it and when you know you're winning it you're exhausting the players you're using you're using your resources a lot your main player because this is what happens often we'll always have one person who is injured let's hope that we don't have more than one injured major injury for our team because uh, it could be a blow there are a lot of things that really determine a season of a team you have the injury of the team if you do have four main players who are injured in the whole season if you have red cards we saw that with Casemiro there are a lot of things that influence the, the performance of a team on the results of a team but I can tell you if United doesn't have injuries if United doesn't have these players missing for one reason or other we will be challenging Premier League but I think that the certain issues that will make me feel very confident that Manchester United could end up being the first and uh, that's why I said it will be determined only in December and this is why there are certain games that we need to go and show character character against Liverpool against City those are two games and there are certain attitude that we need to build we need to change our attitude so one of the biggest reasons why Manchester United wasn't doing well last season also was simple was because if you remember there were certain games that we had to take three points but we draw the game so we don't have, we always have to all the teams who are below us we need to destroy them we need to win those games we should stop losing games away games we have to start winning away games if we can do well at any away games then we can save woman pressure on Manchester City but uh, without saying without me uh, with me saying all this I just want you to say that to, to with me saying all this I just want you to understand my own position who is going to be the top five this season for Manchester United I'm, I'm about sure that United is going to end at the third position this season but it wouldn't be that the, the point difference will be a little bit smaller, but I think we will just be about the 10 with third position. Because for me, this is how it's going to work. Because why do I say third? Because there will be pressure on Newcastle. We have to win at Newcastle. Let me tell you this: if United can win in Newcastle, we'll win in uh, win in Newcastle. 
at least draw in Liverpool without losing three points. At least draw in City. Then we, I think we are in a position of saying that we win the league. This is my view because I think if Manchester United does that and also win their games, considering that we are good at Ultra Four, we will manage to get points. I think we will... Um, We'll be talking about winning the Premier League at the end of the season. It, it will be really close. But, again, and this is, the, you can ask Beraf, I mean, if Casemiro is out, who plays for Casemiro and so on. But if I'm talking with, this, with uh, considering that Amrabat will be in United, I'm talking, considering that we're going to bring another defender, you know. I'm talking in consideration that we can bring another two or, th uh, two or three players. That's why I'm saying, because we need to have that team depth. If we have that team depth, it will be so helpful for Manchester United for us to move forward. So, um, as I said, I want to close this video by telling you guys Manchester United is going to end the tournament in three, three positions. And my reasons why I think is because I think we're going to, firstly, we have a manager who knows what he's doing. Secondly, um, our team depth, we are, we are, we, when Ari Magwe and McTominay leaves, we know that also Fred will leave. We bring him Amrabat, who can, who can, be, a who can be a deputy for... Um, the Brazilian midfielder uh, Casemiro and please Eric Ten Hag please Eric Ten Hag keep Dan go keep Dan go I think that young guy can can k give our first team some rest if we are playing the Carabao Cup or whatever tournament keep Dan go that is a player to watch that is the star of Manchester United he reminds me of a kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Nicky, but he, he, he will grow, he will learn from this, from the, the senior team, so keep him. So anyway, guys, that is where I am. Tell me what you think about your um, pro, uh, predictions about Manchester United. Tell me what you think about your prediction about Manchester United. Where will United finish next season? Drop your comments below, because for me personally, I think United would finish at the third position and possibly win a trophy. I think if we can win, the FA Cup, that would be fantastic. We have already done the League Cup. We don't want to be another city winning League Cups every season. But the FA Cup would be something we should take it serious. And we think if we can go to the Champions League till the quarterfinals, that will also be massive. Uh, so that's where I am with that. So guys, great show now. It's your turn. I'm waiting to read on your comments. Drop your comments below. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Share the videos with everybody. As I said, we'll be live in the three weeks every time in the morning every day in the morning talking about manchester united so make sure you stay tuned and be part of the community with that all said guys talk to you soon